Hello? Hello? So, if I talk right now, is, like, the audio good? Like, can you hear the music? Like, if I said that the music was supposed to be emotional and, like, would feel with the vibes and, like... Oh, no! The timer ran out! Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, 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 everybody! Welcome, one and all! <clears throat> I'm running out. My voice is gone. The timer disappeared. What the fuck? Uh, I hope everything's safe. I'm sorry for the delay. Oh my god, frames are dropping. Holy shit. What the fuck? I'm literally gonna cry if more frames drop. Live on stream, tears shat, shit and shedded and shatted on. the worst day ever. <laughs> bro, how much have you prepared that it's that is causing this lag, bro? I I would not be able to tell you. <laughs> It's not even, it's like the stream's lagging, like my bitrate, dude. Literally, my internet is just like pissing itself right now. I think, I think because there's a little bit of things blocking the route to my connection. Maybe the music's tad loud? Okay. That's good to know. A tad, I'll lower it then. Okay, that should be should be good. Okay. Music check. This is check. <coughs> Internet hasn't dipped yet. All right, how's everyone doing today? Welcome one and all to the midterms presentation. I'm just gonna let it settle in for a bit. Uh, say hi to say hi to Instagram, everyone. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! It's backwards. It literally does not work out. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for the delay. Sorry for the mega delay. I did not intend for the internet thing to happen as horribly as it did. Hopefully, we don't have any more problems down the line. If we do, I'm literally going to cry. Hopefully, it isn't too obstructive where it would ruin your viewing experience. But as we go on, let me turn up this real quick. Now, <clears throat> welcome, 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 one and all, to the midterms presentation! Woo! Hello, I am Professor Arvin. You can call me Professor Papa. You can call me Professor uh, PP. You can call me Professor Arvin, Professor Vin, Professor Bozo. You can call me any of those names. It is accepted now remember uh welcome to class everyone uh it is an honor to be your professor you know seven weeks down the line we're at the halfway point of the semester so far i hope you are all doing well make sure to check the syllabus corey i see you've already seen uh remember to check the syllabus remember to check the syllabus i've been updating it recently you know uh everything that you need is on the syllabus so just keep that in mind uh going forward it's very important that you check the syllabus uh because there's new assignments there's new uh, uh new schedules new dates uh that are being added you know it, it's we've been falling a bit behind lately you know you know i, I like this class 
uh, the conversations, the discussions, the, the sidetracks. When, whenever we, we, ha we go into class, it, it's always fun. And so even though we're falling behind, you know, I don't mind. I, I just hope you guys are learning, getting a lot out of this. And we're not going to be missing much if we're not, if we're falling behind at least this much. Like, what we fell behind on is just like stuff that we don't really need to remember. But as long as you remember this stuff coming up in this presentation, that's all you're going to need. <laughs> Professor Bozo, holy shit, it's like pages! Now, uh, uh, remember, as I mentioned, uh, check the syllabus. Remember to do your attendance as well. Attendance is very important, as you know. Uh, being a professor on Twitch, I mean, that's already, that's already way too much to check for the attendance of all of my students in class. But, you know, it's already hard on Zoom. It's even harder as a professor on Twitch. So remember the attendance policy. Just remember to follow this. Uh, the rules and the, the regulations associated with that so that you can get your attendance points. Woo! But yes, everyone, this is the midterms presentation performed on October 23rd, 2022 by me, Professor Arvin. Now, a little bit of a preface. Just before we go into the presentation, uh, number one, uh, this might not be chat interactive. And when my, what I mean by that is that I might not read chat too often uh chat is right fucking there and uh it's kind of <laughs> october my fourth october 24th in my head oh my god i just said it won't be chat interactive and i just read chat <laughs> uh it might not be chat interactive so uh if you say things in chat i might not read it immediately i have a certain pace that i want these slides to go in and i might get i might get like distracted easily or I don't want to go in too much into like a, a side question or like not a side question, but like a side conversation with chat uh, in the middle of one of my slides. But at the end of every sequence, uh, you'll see I have an agenda here at the end of each of one of these sub chapters. There will be, be time. There will be time for questions. So uh, questions, a.k.a. That's when I'm going to be talking to you guys. But yeah, uh, second thing on the preface, technical difficulties. Just be prepared. Uh, as you guys knew at the beginning of this stream, we've had some technical difficulties so far. Uh, I hope that isn't enough to ruin your experience. I hope it isn't ruining your experience, and I'm so sorry if it does. I uh, just hope you guys enjoy. There might be times where music might not play at the appropriate times. There might be times where music, especially music, especially because I, I, I'm having a weird time trying to control that. Music just might be in weird spots. I might like skip slides, like jerking around between two so that might happen and then uh number three i might forget bits and weird pacing so i wrote this and uh even though i wrote it and i rehearsed it one time an hour ago uh, <laughs> uh it just might not come out because now that i'm standing here on stage and performing it like uh shit this might not go well. <laughs> there might be times where I'll just stand up here and I'll just be like, uh, 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 what the fuck did I write? Something like that might happen. So just brace yourself. Brace yourself in the moments where shit just might hit the fan. But aside from that, let's hit the uh, up the agenda so far. Here are the five different subchapters for this presentation, all varying in length. First, we're going to talk about the 2020. We're going to start about the beginning of it all. We are going to uh, discuss uh, my framework going into midterms, uh, going into midterms and like uh, not studying that much and uh, how I'm going to prepare for myself in my midterms. Uh, and then number two, we got study guides, study guides multiple choice questions and written questions, curved grades, and then finally the conclusion. As you guys know, uh, just prepare yourself for the conclusion as such. <clears throat> but aside from that, how about we start at the very beginning, at 2020. <clears throat> now, 2020, here's what you need to know about me. Here's what you need to know about me and maybe about yourself. <clears throat> the year is 2020 and the World Health Organization, AKA the WHO declares COVID-19 as a pandemic in March. And what that means is that the whole world went into a bit of a fucking lockdown. A lockdown? Oh no, I gotta stay in my house for two weeks? Well, that's what the United States said. They said, stay in your house for two weeks until it all goes uh, down. And 
and everyone, for some reason, everyone was pissing their fucking pants when when the, the two week order was announced. They were like, "Dude, dude, I can't stay in my house for two weeks. I'm literally gonna die of isolation. I'm gonna be so lonely. I'm gonna die." And then and then when I get out of this of this lockdown at the end of two weeks, yo, I'm gonna see all my friends. I'm gonna kiss all my friends, and we're all gonna make out and and I cough on each other as a joke and then uh little did they know uh oh shit and uh little did they know uh how much of a problem uh, it would be <laughs> little did they know how long the lockdown would last and let me tell you the lockdown lasted for a really long fucking time <laughs> but then there's me that's me right there and the year is 2020 and i'm a senior in high school Woo! i'm gonna graduate i was going through a bunch of mental problems but that's a story for another day and the way my high school adjusted to online learning is well they did online learning uh they had zoom classes right here they did zoom classes and most importantly tests and exams and finals were taken on like google classes and Exams were taken online in the comfort of my own home. And that's zonkers because... Excuse me. And that's zonkers because, you know, a lot of people in my class, in my senior class, uh, we kind of, anytime that we got an exam, we kind of just fucking Googled all the answers. <laughs> all it takes for you to take an exam when you're taking an exam at home, online, all you gotta do is open up your phone, go on Google, look up all the fucking answers. Dude, it's so easy. And this is where I feel, this is where I feel, and I think anyone, everyone can agree, that this marked, that this year and this lockdown marked the birth of disingenuous online test taking and the death of academic integrity. <clears throat> Pog problems, Google Meets head ass. Dude, Google Meets was fucking bullshit. But yes, the death of academic integrity. So shit, you got an online math test coming up? Dude, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. I just realized I need to loop this. This is looping, right? Okay, cool. Dude, you got an online math test coming up? Dude, all you gotta do, just go use a calculator, use a math way, use fucking alpha zero. That's a chess AI. I meant Wolfram Alpha. Oh, and, and speaking of chess, uh, rook to e10, uh, e10, e10, these nuts. Oh, got him. That was funny as fuck. Uh, <laughs> you got an online history exam coming up, dude. Open up the textbook, Control F, aka my BFF, and just find all the answers, and boom, it's right there. Put it on my history test. Oh shit, guess what? What? You got a science online test? Dude, just fucking go on Quizlet and like, all the answers are like on Quizlet. It's fucking crazy how much all of the answers are on Quizlet. Like I, like you Google one thing and then like, it's just on Quizlet. People are so awesome and professors are so lazy to make original questions that, it, that you can literally just find them online. What the fuck? <laughs> and then, oh shit, you got an English online test to take. Just go on a Discord call with all your friends. Brung, brung, brung and then have all the smart people on the discord answer the answers for you oh shit i think we're supposed to capitalize that oh shit i think we were supposed to underline it oh no bro i think we're supposed to parentheses when we're using textbooks damn <laughs> And this is all to say, this is all to say that, <clears throat> oh shit, wait, don't look at this. 
And this is all to set up the fact that academic integrity died in March 2020. <clears throat> March 2020 marked the death of academic integrity. And while cheating had existed prior, cheating definitely had existed prior, but <laughs> March 2020 marked the death of academic integrity, yada, yada, yada. And while cheating had existed prior, the lockdown and the mess of the world and everyone losing every single ounce of motivation to give a shit about academia, it, everyone just started falling into the trap and the egregious crime of just googling what the 21st amendment did because shit why the fuck should i why do, why do i have to study it when i could just google it online <laughs> bozo <laughs> can i get oh sevens in chat oh <laughs> sevens in chat for academic integrity <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> academic integrity set Now, this is where, uh, this is where it leaves me, right? This is where I am. This is me. I graduated high school, uh, taking part in this academic dishonesty. And I could admit that I cheated in high school because like, what, 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 what am I, what's my high school going to do? Fucking take my diploma away. I, I fucking lost it. I actually have no idea where my diploma is. And I hope that isn't going to be a problem later down the line. I don't know. <laughs> and this sets the stage for when I began college in fall of 2020. Now, uh, now this sets the stage for when I took, uh, when I started college in fall of 2020. And thankfully, I had a lot of classes that had open notes or open book exams, which helped me get away with a lot. I got away with a lot, aka I got away with a lot of not studying. And that, I feel that is a bit of a problem for me because I went through my first two years of college in online schooling, inside the comfort of my own room, Googling, Discording, Quizleting. I went through my first two years of college without studying. Man, without studying, man, that must have been crazy. <laughs> and now school is fully in person. My school has fully opened up from the lockdown. Almost, mostly. It's pretty much like required to, that I'm going to be taking classes in person. And since I'm a third year, I'm going to be taking upper division courses. And if you don't know what upper division courses mean, that's just a really funny word of saying. Uh, it's going to be hard for me. Aww. Feel bad for me. I don't know. Don't feel bad for me. That's, that's weird. <laughs> and I'm taking all these courses in upper division and I no longer have the means that I had before that had got me to this point. I no longer have Discord. I no longer have Control F, AKA my BFF, but now is my NBFF. They're not my BFF anymore. And I no longer have open note exams sometimes. It doesn't happen often, but like, what, what am I gonna do? Like, I get like a cheat sheet with like a small three by five index card. Like that's, it's not enough. <laughs> This is the current, oh shit, sorry. And this is the current state of my academia. And I'm worried that like, I'm not, <laughs> and this has me worried. This has me really worried because for one thing, I don't know how to study. I went through the last two years, last two, three years. I didn't study in high school. I just kind of breezed through it. I don't know how to study. For some reason, people like study two weeks before. Like what the fuck? I studied the night before. And on top of that, I don't even know how to take in test take in person. That's hard. Test taking in person doesn't make any sense at all. And on top of that, number three, I don't want to study at all. <laughs> Bro, I just I, I just want to play video games. I'm gonna be fucking honest. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. My phone's ringing. Uh, ring, 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 ring. Oh shit. Oh, ring, ring, ring. Hello? I've already taken... I've already taken my midterms? Wait, what? I've taken my midterms already. And I got... It was an in-person midterm and I got a 68. 
Oh shit, I got a... I got a 68 on my midterm and because I didn't study? Uh... Oh shit. Oh, so this... Wait, wait, so I'm doing the stream after I did the midterm? Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'll, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. Yeah, did you hear that? Did you hear that, guys? I already took my midterms and I'm already suffering as a result of it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually this is actually really funny too because uh this is after the grade curve <laughs> we had three extra points added to, or three extra percent added to this this is fucked up <laughs> but anyways i leave the floor open to questions aka i'm gonna open it up to chat and i'm gonna read chat now <laughs> me neither <laughs> In my fourth year and don't know what I'm doing. Yo, retweet. Retweet. I don't study. If I know it, <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Damn, you just needed one more percent. Am I okay? I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm doing I'm doing alright. I hope this isn't going too slow. Time is going by really quickly, and I'm, my brain is, like, racing. <laughs> nah, you good pacing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Now, let us go on to the next part of the presentation. We got study guides. Bow, 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 bow. Now, study guides, everyone's best friend, a professor's best friend, you might say. Now, what does a professor do to help their students uh, prepare for an exam? Well, one of the greatest things that they do is they give you a study guide. Whoa, it must have like all the list of all the terms and everything that I need to know on it, right? And it's like all filled out, right, right? Oh no, it's a, uh, it's not filled out. I have to, I have to fill it out myself. Fuck. <laughs> way, the way I've always felt about uh, filling out study guides is like, it feels like finishing JRPG side quests. It's like, they're always, there's always these small things that you just need to do to grind it out and finish it 100%. Like, you know how to do most of them. You, you will fill out most of them. But man, is it kind of fucking lazy to do all these boring ass side quests. Oh, and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To, 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 to all my Valorant friends out there, to all my Valorant friends out there. Okay, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like finishing the battle pass. It's like finishing the battle pass, but you don't want to, but like you got like three hours left to finish it so it's like it's like that or or if you're if you're not a uh, if you're not a gamer uh and if you don't play games at all uh it's like getting a 20 piece chicken mcnugget and it's like you finish 15 chicken mcnuggets but then you have five left and then like ah you just got you feel the need to finish it you know so you finish it against your will you're bloating like crazy but you feel satisfied that you finish it so that you didn't waste money that's what that's the you know that's like the that's like it's like filling out a study guide. Does that make sense? Does that does that make does that make does that make sense? <laughs> Good analogy, thank you. <laughs> Good analogy, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, the thing is, it's like filling out a study guide. You you know where to find most of them. Hopefully, you can find probably most of them. You can find probably like. A good amount of them but for some fucking reason for some reason uh you'll find random shit well not like mitochondria you'll definitely find mitochondria but then there's gonna be like some random stuff that was in the book that you didn't read well i definitely didn't read it that is on the study guide like what the fuck is oxidative phosphorylation you didn't teach it why do I gotta study for it? Why do I gotta study for something that was in the book and you didn't teach it in the lecture? I don't know what you're talking about, damn it! <laughs> and professors are always, oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh shit, what the fuck, my camera just blurred. 
Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I was going ghost mode, bro. <laughs> I'm glitching out. I'm going out. I'm going in the matrix. Okay. And study guides are great. Study guides are great because they may achieve two different, vastly different outcomes. Uh, option A, where the study guide is the most helpful. You feel like your professor just grabbed you and helped you out. You feel amazed and satisfied that your professor gave you this list of everything that you needed and everything on the study guide, oh, no way, was on the exam. Did you see that? It says, it says A right there. It says A. That's what you got because the study guide followed it. And it's froggers, dude. It's froggers and poggers. And everyone's having a good time. And you want to be friends with your professor and you love them and you go out on a party with them and it's fucking it's, it's an awesome day but then uh there's option b which is uh oh uh, uh, option b is <laughs> ooh, not good option b is when the professor fucking lied this shit the mid the, the, the study guide what was on the study guide didn't help at all and the professor is satan probably probably satan they're acting like it if it's not on the study guide the professor is gonna be like oh yeah study what oh uh, yeah study the the study guide but then uh some of the stuff that is not gonna be on the study guide and then it turns out most of the stuff isn't on the study guide piece of shit and then you got all the nerds all the nerds that made the study guide that you got i didn't make the study guide because i got it from those nerds you see all the nerds fighting after the exam or fighting in the discord oh shit did you see that question it wasn't on the study guide it wasn't on the study guide this fucking shit ass professor didn't teach your shit and they're putting it on the fucking star and oh my gosh, the professor, they, uh, what are they, they must find it real fucking funny. The professor really must find it real fucking funny to joke us out like that. They think that we're so stupid. If it's, if, if you're the study guide, right? Study guide. It's supposed to guide us. But get this, get this. It's, it's more like, it's more like a study loss. It's more like a study loss. Fucking. That was a good, that was a good joke. It's just gonna, it's gonna go on to the next level. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, any questions? Uh, any questions? Any questions so far? <laughs> See, that, that section wasn't that long, right? That section was like 10 minutes. Oh, fuck, this section's gonna last a long fucking time. Has the attendance code popped up yet? Oh, you guys gotta pay attention. You guys gotta pay attention. Am I still okay? Yes, I am still okay. Thank you for asking for it. Anyways. Uh, where are we going next? Where are we going next? <clears throat> okay. Let's go on to the next slide. Now, let's talk about multiple choice and essay questions, AKA why I am a communications major, why I major in communications. Now, here's the thing about, uh, uh, about me. I'm actually, if you didn't know, I'm a communications major. And fun fact about communications majors, we don't have to do math. <laughs> and you know what that means? If we don't have to do math, that means we don't need a whole fucking 11 by 8 sheet of paper of to show my work and do my work for one problem. That is an awesome privilege to have. That I don't have to drill and write down a bunch of fucking work to, to get one question down. And that's awesome. The, I don't have to fucking, I don't have to draw graphs. I don't have to memorize all these uh, dipshit equations. I don't have to memorize any of that. I don't even have to use a calculator. Oh, 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 I don't even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the most I ever have to do as a communications major, the most, <laughs> uh, the most I ever have to do 
in a uh, as a communications major is like write a short paragraph of theoretical scenarios or like a midterm essay and at most it's probably gonna be like three sentences long like oh who's the nicest person oh my mom my mom she baked me my cookies and it make me very happy and that's i mean that's pretty that's pretty rad but Alongside writing small little theoretical situations in my communication courses, a lot of my exams that I take are going to have multiple choice questions. Yeah, you got a question. Boom. How about we give you multiple, multiple choices? Oh, 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 oh. Pick one or pick all that apply or pick all of the above, which is guess what? all of the above or pick d which is actually both a and c and if you put both a and c and uh you'll get it fucking wrong and uh you're a fucking idiot uh, dumbass <laughs> and that's the glory of multiple choice questions that's the that's what makes them really pop off to me <laughs> they're so simple they're so simple but they can throw you some curveballs. But if there's one thing that you can always know for certain, if there's one thing they always know for certain, the answer is always right in front of you. It's one of these. It can't be any other of these. And most of the memory that you ever have to recall is uh, usually can be recalled by seeing the question and the answers all provided. So let's say, uh, like, let's say I got this question. Like, oh shit. What year did the poker app release? Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> what year did the poker app release, right? Fuck, man. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but let's say we have um uh, a little bit of a choices. Ooh. When I see this, it's like, oh, wait. I know. <laughs> I know what the answer might be. And if you're unsure. If you're unsure, you are gifted the gracious gift of the process of elimination. We can work backwards to solve this problem. So, uh, let's figure this out, right? <laughs> so let's say, uh, uh, let's look back at this again, right? Uh, let's see. Pokemon, uh, I think it released in 1996 because Pokemon, the original Pokemon Red and Blue, they released in 1996 and it's uh, it's uh, great. It's awesome. It's amazing. So it, it definitely cannot be 1996. It cannot be B. Uh, obviously, 1996, uh, 1993 can't be 1993 if Pokemon didn't exist and they had been dead the whole time until they were born in 1996. So it can't be 1993. And then obviously, uh, uh, 165 billion BC, million BCE, uh, excuse me, the dinosaurs didn't even fuck it. They died. Uh, kablamo. <laughs> so it can't be, it can't be D. And obviously, if it can't be D, it can't be E. Because it can't be all of these. So with that leaves, it's 1999. The poker rap release in 1999. Damn, you guys, you guys, you guys all got it. You guys dumb fucked it up. <laughs> but congratulations guys we figured it out we figured it out together that the poker app was released in 1999 fuck yeah yeah oh oh shit oh no, no, don't do that <laughs> 2006 i don't know 2004 man you guys wow you guys all went down together <laughs> and one of my favorite things about taking uh taking uh, multiple choice exams though is whenever you leave the classroom and then you see all the people that are like outside that are discussing the midterm that they just took and then they're like oh shit i felt like i got a lot of bees but then but then you're the idiot that just felt like oh shit I got a lot of A's, <laughs> but you know, I, you know, I guess, I guess maybe, maybe, maybe there was a lot of B's and I shouldn't have put a lot of A's. Oh, fuck. Oh, ruh, ruh, ready? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I gotta be in frame. Oh, ruh, ruh, ready? <laughs> okay. 
But then that sets us up for my next topic, which is midterm or not midterm. <laughs> I've been talking about midterms the whole fucking time, man. We're talking about scantrons. That's right. Scantrons. I have to bring this up because scantrons make me so fucking mad. <laughs> uh, scantrons are amazing. And if you don't know what scantrons are, they're just a sheet for multiple choice questions where students fill out fill out the bubbles for their answers. Like, oh shit, I gotta fill out C and B and A and D. They fill it out and professors take those sheets of paper that the students just filled up on and put those sheets into a machine that will grade it for them. And that's awesome. But something I don't understand is why the fuck I have to pay for it. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> why do I have to pay for fucking <laughs> scantrons, dude? A pack of scantrons, a six pack of scantrons in my school. Guess what? They're three dollars. Are you shitting me? That is one scantron for 50 cents. And it's like, oh, bro, you could just buy scantrons at Amazon. A pack of 50 for like $10. And that's like, $10, uh, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $
Oh god, I just spilled water on my my jacket. Oh wow, that's not good. That Don't look at it. Okay. We're gonna go on to the next portion. <clears throat> Let's talk about curved grades, all right? Because I got quite a bit to say about curved grades, all right? Curved grades, AKA how professors hide the fact that they can't teach. Because guess what? It's, it's actually true. Did you know that in order for a professor to teach, uh, professors don't actually need a teaching credential? Yeah. Why the fuck are they teaching a classroom full of students if they don't have a teaching credential? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Apparently, all you need for the job requirements to teach is uh, a doctoral de degree or a PhD and uh, uh, teaching experience teaching experience and while i don't know what teaching experience entails all i can ever uh, imagine is like a guy trying to apply it to become a professor being like oh yeah i've taught before i've taught two interns uh how to use a fucking keyboard oh can't wait to teach a whole fucking classroom of students yeah ding 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 what's in your brain brother Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. And sometimes you'll see sites, some of the sites when I was doing research, they'll say like, oh yeah, professors will require, or in order to uh, a university to accept a professor, they require three to 10 years of teaching experience in an academic uh, setting. Or many universities require a specified number of years of teaching at a college level. And when you, when you, when, when I was reading this, it really puts in perspective like, there's no fucking way they've been teaching for that long, if at all. <laughs> the professors that I've seen at my school, it's like, it's like, it's like a no way, bro. <laughs> yeah. Three to 10 years, no shot, bro. Not at all. <laughs> it's absolutely dog shit. So whenever you have the, 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 the moment in your brain where like you just think, this professor can't teach. Uh, guess what? They can't fucking teach. It's just, it's just, that's just, that's just how it is. It's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> and what happens when you get professors? Did I just see M's? Hey, Emily. <laughs> yeah, fucking Turkov, fuck that guy. Anyways, what do you get when you have professors that can't teach? You get uh, students that fail the exam. And what do you get when you have students that fail the exam? They curve the grades. A professor's best friend. Truly. <laughs> You're just a... <laughs> Curving the grades. A professor's best friend to hide the fact that they can't teach and trying to save face for their students. Let's say you got a D plus on your exam. Oh, dude, let's turn that D plus into a C minus. And you know what? That B plus that that one student got, let's turn that B plus into an A minus. And you know what? My self-confidence is still low because I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this class, even if you change the grade. <laughs> What professors aim to do with curving the grade is they're trying to get a good amount of the students to pass the course. So let's say there's 28% of students, that doesn't look good on them. So how do we make the professors look good? How do professors make themselves look good? Let's just turn that notch and put it around. Boom, now 68% of students are passing the course. Wow, that's awesome. How did you do it? Well, we did it like this. This is a grading curve, cur grade curving tutorial. So let's say uh, you got most of your students currently sitting at a 60%. Oh, you can see this fucking bell curve right here. It's well demonstrated. 67% grade average. How do we fix the grade average? Well, you just gotta fucking just gotta move it over. And voila, it's that easy. Just give everyone some fucking points. What's that? 
Uh, everyone's at a 71%. Wow! Wow, who knew that the solution to this academic problem was just to fucking lie? Just to lie? Just put it, give, give everyone just a little bit more points. Aw, just give everyone a little bit more of a little bit of a boost. Aw, just fucking lie. Lie about the fact that you are a good professor. And the only way forward is to just curve your grade. My saving grace. Oh, oh. I love curving my grades. Because obviously, there clearly isn't any other way to improve scores other than curving the grade, right? Right? Help them? What are you, what are you fucking, what are you fucking out of your mind? Help them? Fuck them! Fuck that! Oh, sorry. Wait, wait. Let me do it like while I'm looking at at the camera. Help them? Uh, fuck that! Hell no! Oh. <laughs> Professors are here to fuck you up and ruin you and and tear you to shreds and pull you to the ground. And if you have a professor that needs to, that really needs to curve the grades so often, especially when the majority of the students are like failing horrendously, they probably can't teach. And they probably shouldn't teach. And I'm sorry if you have to experience that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you have to experience that awful, horrendous, pathetic teacher, professor that doesn't have a teaching credential. This isn't to say that all professors that curve grades are bad. It's just like when you got the really bad ones, like, oh shit. <laughs> Anyways, any questions? Uh, any questions? Let's see. Uh, let's read chat so far. Let's read. What's what's uh, what's what's going on with you guys? Let's see. I'm a college dropout. College already taking all my money. Why isn't it in my tier tree? Oh, Scamtron. Oh wait, I went too far. Followed your advice and shit in my seat. Hey, good job. <laughs> shit, shit seater. Why are your grades looking so curvy? No wonder they're shit. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arvin Turcot. Hope he doesn't find out our twitches. Yeah, hopefully. I hope not. Skill issue to be on a TBH. Lunar. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, that's funny as fuck. I had no instruction and had to take an exam on dynamics. Hard as fuck and failed. That's my bad. I should have just read the whole textbook and taught myself the material by myself. I am so sorry for you. That is an absolute dog shit professor. Do I do the grading curve because I'm a professor now? I do it. I, I think I do it in a fair way. I think I do it in a fair way. When I uh, curve my grades, I do it. I think I do it fairly. Uh, it's not too much points, but you know, it's to just help leverage. I think it helps. It, it boosts up uh, student morale a bit. And I, I find that valuable because, you know, students shouldn't be like pressured so pressured to perform well in school i think my exams are fair i always send out like the, you know those like review forms where like you can uh you, know, you take a test and like the it showcases like how good a professor is so like you know i do my best to i do my best to listen to feedback take the feedback and like improve on myself so I, i'll curve my grades uh but it, i know at the end of the day it's on me and i'm gonna improve on myself later that's that's just me Will you help me? Of course, Angel. Of course I'll help you. Boost your grades, boost your morale, and boost your passing grades. I mean, uh, just a little bit. Hey, hey. We're all in this together, and I just don't want my students to be all stressed out all the time. You know? I just hope that they can get something out of my class at the end of the day. But let us go into the final bit. The final subchapter. We got the conclusion. Now, everyone, for the conclusion. Nah, competition over cooperation. <laughs> yeah, fuck everyone. I, I'm only doing, I only curve my grades to, to make myself look better than the other professors. <laughs> now, uh, make sure to type in the four digit attendance code. Uh, since we're going towards the conclusion, make sure to, uh, you know, type in your. Uh, Type in the four-digit attendance code, and remember we have the uh, we have the midterm coming up after this. So make sure put everything away. Have your pencil and only your pencil out and your Scantron. Uh, put your backpack underneath your desk. Put your phones away. Uh, 
don't worry uh, there's no cheat sheets allowed so uh, you can't have that on and just remember put in the uh make sure to put in the four digit attendance code if you guys uh you guys got it seven five four six do i have to put it on put on my camera for this test no samson galaxy you don't need to good to see you here by the way seven five four six guys you know you guys know that i put these attendance codes in order to like ensure that you were actively listening right like it's just four digits that you need to put in it, it's it was scattered throughout the presentation you guys were listening right Guys, it's it's been it's been seven weeks. Seven weeks. We've been doing this for seven weeks. I remind you guys. Guys, guys, it's in the syllabus. Were you guys not paying attention? It's in exclamation point syllabus. Were you not paying attention? Attendance policy. Since all lectures will be done on twitch.tv slash papa arvin, you need to pay close attention. I'm building Legos. You're not even paying attention to the stream. There are four digits showcased throughout the presentation, and you need to provide them so that I can provide participation points. Were you guys not even listening? It's in your syllabus. Did you guys? Oh my God. I thought you were going to help me. I'm helping. I've been helping you guys. Were you guys even paying attention? Did you guys not see this? Did you guys not see this? Actually, I think it was right here. And then did you guys not see this? This! Did you guys not see that? Or this? Did you not see this? Oh my god. Or this? This one. Did you not see it? It's right in front of you. Oh, now you guys put the code in. Okay. Oh, you guys think you're all so fucking funny. Oh, okay. You guys know you're having a midterm after this presentation, right? I'm a slow typer. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. You guys know you have a midterm, right? And you guys are having this midterm right now. Right now. You guys are having this fucking midterm right now, right? You guys know, right? I want to make sure you knew... Guys, it's in the course schedule. 1023, that's today. Midterm presentation plus exam. Midterm assignment due today. Midterm, it's, it's been on the syllabus, on the course schedule. I've literally been sending reminders. I reminded you guys at the beginning of class to check the syllabus. And you didn't. My spleen just exploded. Is there an alternate time you should have told me at the beginning? At the beginning! Frick on my dick. Can I get an extension? No. Lactose intolerant? No. I am sick and tired of being treated like this. I have given you guys so many opportunities these last seven weeks to improve. I felt like I've been being fair. I provide you guys reminders. I give you guys office hours in, in this building and in this room on five days a week, one hour a day, which might not be a lot, but I've been uh, providing it for you guys. But none of you guys sign up. And then I've only given you guys two graded assignments. I've given you guys two graded assignments. That is so many assignments at the sec seventh week of class. You guys don't even fucking... You guys don't even know! I'm doing... So much! And none of you guys even pay attention! <laughs> That's it! That's fucking it! 
No more study guides. No more curved grades. No more fun, relatable professor. You guys are taking this exam now, whether you like it or not. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna make it hard. I'm gonna make this the hardest exam you'll ever take. And I'm gonna rig it. I'm gonna rig it. We'll do better, Chef. Can't study ass too fat. Spleen just exploded. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Have COVID, can't take it. Excuse, it's literally online. You should have told me this before class. Raw dogging this exam. That's what it's gonna be like, guys. Are you guys ready to take this final midterm, which is not final because it's a midterm? Are you ready to take this rigged midterm or what? Open note, no, it's not open note. Get out of here. You're taking this now. Yeah? You're gonna take this midterm now? Oh shit. Let's fucking go, let's go, yes? Then you guys, you guys better be ready. Welcome to the midterm. The evil midterm. Evil, 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 evil. Just let me turn. Oh, shit, give me a sec. Just give me, give me a sec. I just gotta turn on the. Just gotta, boom. This is it. Question one. Oh wait, let me just. Bam. We're getting. Oh shit, wait. Boom. First question. What year? Did academic integrity die? Yeah. If you were pay really paying attention, then you'd answer this correctly. But since you weren't, I bet you're all fucking wrong. Make your choice. B, 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 majority B, Samsung Galaxy E? Well, we go with the majority on this one. Fine. Maybe you guys did get it right. Maybe you guys were paying attention, but guess what? You're not gonna get out of this exam alive. <laughs> one of one, let's see how it goes down. How about this? Number two, study guides can achieve which outcome? Pick all that apply. You can only pick two though, only two. You can only pick two. You gotta pick two. There's no way you guys get this one right. You gotta pick two of them. Oh, oh. Make your choice. I've done so much for this, and all I get is nothing. B, D, D, fucking. Why did I write? Well, fuck! Fuck! You got it right! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Fine. Two out of two. One hundred percent. How much do you get per paid, Professor? Not enough, but I'm quitting this job anyways. I'm gonna fail all of you guys. How about this one? You're not gonna get out of this one alive. How about this? What is oxidative phosphoration? Ah, that's right. This one wasn't on the presentation, so there's no way you would have known this one. <laughs> there's no way you're gonna get out of this one alive. <laughs> what the fuck? No. No! 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 Oh, oh shit! Oxidative is the process by which ATP synthesis is coupled to the movement of the <laughs> How did you guys get that one right? You got it right? <laughs> it is worse, I literally googled it. <laughs> three out of three, 100%. Okay, okay. But you know what? We're almost to the end. We're going on number question four. <laughs> what is the purpose? of curved grades? Is it A, 
to keep professors' job. B, make professors, make students pass, make the school look good. Or D, all of the above. Or E, none of the above. And you know what? Let's mix it up a bit. Let's mix it up a bit. Boom! This question is worth five questions. So if you get this one wrong, you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Oh, 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 oh. looks like all of you made your choice. Oh, oh, oh. But I pulled a fast one on you guys. I pulled a fast one. Boom! It's A, B, and C. <laughs> You guys got that one wrong! You guys got that one wrong! <laughs> oh my gosh, you fools! You fools! But, 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 no buts, no buts. You guys got it wrong. Mm -mm -mm. But this one, this one, you're not gonna know this one at all. You're not going to know this one at all. Is this going to curve? No, it's not going to curve. This one's a little bit of a trick question. Who is the bestest professor? Pick one. Is it A, Professor Papa Arvin, B, Professor Arvin, C, Dr. Bozo, or D, PhD Vin, or E, Professor Bozo? There's no way you're going to get this one right. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I can see it now. And you know what? Let's make this one worth a hundred points. <laughs> so there's no way, and you're gonna get a big fat F on your little, little, little GPA. Oh, your GPA's tanking. <laughs> wow. I can see it now. Bahamas, the beach. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sink my toes into the sand. And you know that, oh man, the moment when you put your toes into the sand and like you get the sand in between and oh that's always so satisfying and I'm gonna have a cocktail anyways what did you guys put in no 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 way a b c d and e no 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 <laughs> no no wait that means no no! You foiled me! You bastards! And that was the last question. There's no way. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's on academic predation, thank god. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> no. Damn it. Oh. Oh, you guys won. Okay. You've passed. Congratulations. Congratulations on passing. <clears throat> and, uh... I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about that. I, I, I lost control of myself. I... <sighs> I... I'm sorry for... going crazy and apeshit and trying to rig the exam against you. It's not... It's not fair to you guys. You guys, as students, you guys are going through a lot. You guys are young, you guys should have fun, you should be enjoying yourselves. And I just, I made this impossible quiz, I made this impossible midterm, just to forcibly fail you guys and ruin your, ruin you guys. And that's not, that's not fair to you guys. I realized that I just became the professor I didn't want to become. You know, when I was a student like you, I, I wanted to have fun. But then those dickhead professors, just like what I've become right now, those evil professors, they, they ruined it. They tried to make school hard, and it's like, man, when I become a professor, 
I wanted to, when I became a professor, I wanted to, I wanted to provide an easy going experience. I wanted to help my students. I wanted to be grateful and, and nice to my students and give them all the help that they ever wanted. And it's just, I fell from grace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry when I took out my anger on you guys. Oh, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Oh shit, the cops, we are actually surrounded. Oh no, oh, and the dean of ICUP University. Oh shit, oh no. So I guess you've heard of my exploits. Yeah. Okay, you guys can take me in. What's that? You're gonna let the students decide my fate. It's okay, guys. I'll be fine in jail. Oh, God. Just do what you must. Oh. Just uh, make it quick and make it like in caps because I can't really see my screen from this, from this side. I can't really see. Spare from jail? Was that spare? Was that free my man? Uh, uh, you know, he, uh, what the fuck did that say? Uh, free, spare him? Spare from jail? Oh, God, oh. Spare from jail? Oh. You guys. <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot to, to be teaching a great set of students like you guys. Thank you. Oh, come here. Written and performed by Papa Arvin. Special thanks to my friends for showing up, chatting it up in the stream, and music creds type exclamation point playlist to get the full playlist of all the songs that I use for this presentation. And oh, what's the prelude? Oh shit, that's the jail one. Oh. And so, Professor Arvin changed his ways at ICUP University. He gave out more graded assignments, fair study guides, and free scantrons, and everyone was happy. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. in the making oh my gosh with midterms in between fuck that shit oh my god <laughs> let's fucking go <laughs> yo did you see this shit <laughs> oh, oh wait oh dude that's huge dude that's huge <laughs> that was so good w stream let's go let's see what else you guys chat what else did you guys chat uh, I'll give you a five out of five on rip my professor. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> spare, free Professor Bozo. Spare him. Spare from jail. Wow, meowza. Let's go. W stream. Arvin stays winning. Hey, it's all thanks to you guys that I made this stream possible. <laughs> I hope it was good. I hope there wasn't any frame drops. Not even shitting you. Uh, my my setup is dumb fucked up. <laughs> I, I I maybe some of you have seen it on Instagram, like the the exploits that I did in my room to make this stream setup go crazy. But I I, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Hold on, I gotta show this. I, I just love showing this. Hold on. Oh fuck. <laughs> Hold on, you guys gotta see this. I just gotta. I'm gonna end stream soon because I don't actually have anything planned after this. I just wanted to get the stream over with. Guys, check this shit out. 
Bro, I have a monitor here and everything, and then I have this, this hulking 24 inch monitor on my fucking, on a chair. It's crazy. It's pretty, I just realized I just probably showed off like my room. That's really disgusting and embarrassing. But yeah. Oh shit, the thing is slanted. You know what? That's just what we gotta do. I just realized it's not gonna play the Mario soundtrack again. Oh, okay, it did. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna end stream, but tomorrow, uh, or if you guys have any other questions that you wanna say, I, I'm, I'm winded, guys. <laughs> You guys have any other questions or things you want to say? I hope you guys enjoyed, I really do. Hope it was interesting enough. Uh, yeah, I tried to emulate some of my favorite YouTubers in this presentation. I just wanna, I just wanted to just do something I thought was cool. And I, I'm really glad I was able to do it. <laughs> a reminder though, as usual, I have a Celeste stream tomorrow. Always play Celeste on Mondays and Fridays. And yeah. I hit the luddy. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing a recap stream, maybe. Just talking about behind the scenes. <laughs> that was loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll be doing a recap stream, maybe, on Tuesday, just to say. You're late? You, you missed the whole fucking thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to make it, though. <laughs> VOD gang. Exactly. VOD gang. You'll see all seven different VODs of me trying to reset my, my router, dude. Check this out, guys. Oh, yo. Rock band mic? Dude, is that a rock band mic? <laughs> is that a rock band mic from from fucking uh from the Wii? No way. This mic goes hard. I love this mic, dude. But I do wish I have a lav. Notice the y'all notice the calculator said sheesh. Oh yeah, yeah, I got bit. I got, I hit some bits everywhere, didn't I? But yeah, we'll I'll definitely return to this stream sometime in a few in the future. Uh, just to do a little bit of a behind the scenes and a recap, because I just want to talk about how much fun I had making this. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the the course schedule on the syllabus, there's a little bit of stuff there. Final stream? Probably not. Maybe. I do need more ideas. I literally, uh, I only have the debut stream that I have lined up and that's it. <clears throat> but there is a little bit of a hint of the debut stream when that might come in one of the, maybe the Quizlet or the syllabus. You know. Okay, that's it. Yeah, all there. So I'm sweaty, and I'm just really happy to have this done. <laughs> Please stay tuned for when I advertise more stuff like this in the future, uh, or check out my other streams if you liked what you saw. Uh, my other streams are very chill. <laughs> They're really much nothing. <laughs> Not, not that Celeste is nothing, it's just like, it's, it's a lot more toned down, it's not the same thing, but you know, you get me. Alright. There's black screen, there it is. Alright. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And I hope you- oh wait. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Have a good night. Thank you all for watching, I super duper appreciate it, it means a lot that you guys chatted and all that. Bye!